All right, to reach our first location, we are going to start from the giant crow tube that sticks up out of the water. And from here, we are going to head about one notch to the right of northeast until we reach the bulb zone. All right, so going here, you're going to want to bring your Seamoth with a Mark II depth module, and you're also going to want perimeter defense on your Seamoth. You're also going to want to bring a stasis rifle and a sea glide. Now, the main thrusters you're going to run into here are Mesmers, Bone Sharks, and Ampules. So with Bone Sharks, you just hit them with Permanent Defense or your Stasis Rifle. Ampules, they're immune to Permanent Defense, so you can't use that against them. So the main thing you're going to use is your Stasis Rifle against them. And with Mesmers, they can only affect you if you're outside of your vehicle. So if they do start to like try to mind control you, just look away like in another direction to break free of it and then run away. All right, and once we are in the bulb zone, we can start looking for our our what? Our lead. My gosh, what the freak was I about to say? So the lead's going to be in these sandstone deposits right here, as we can see this one right here. You're mainly going to find these sandstone deposits all over the walls. You're not really going to find them on the floor, like on the little, uh, what color is this, tan area. You need to look on the walls of the biome. So these little areas right here. Let's see if we take the lock. Oh, there, there, there's one. I'm gonna try to find five pieces of lead for each of these spots. Now they are, they're gonna be all over these, all over these walls slash smooth surfaces. That's two. Then another one right there. Lead. Another one. You can find these sort of walls and like caves all throughout the biome. So you got um, you got quite quite a lot of area to look around them for these sandstone deposits. Another one right there. Oh yeah, with that, we're gonna go to the next biome. All right, to reach the next biome, we're going to start from the giant crow tube that's up out of the water again, like we did for the last one. And from here, we're going to head about two and a half notches to the left of Northwest until we reach the Northwestern Mushroom Forest. I was about to say Northeastern, like a dummy. All right, so going here, you're gonna bring your Seamoth with a Mark One or Mark Two depth module. You're also gonna bring your permanent defense like you did last time. You can, you can bring your stasis rifle, but you don't really need it as much as you did for the last spot, but if you want to be extra safe, you can bring your stasis rifle. The only hostile creature you run into here are bone sharks, and they're in like pretty small numbers, so you probably won't even see that many. So same as last time, you can hit them with your stasis rifle or perimeter defense to get them off you. All right, and we are now in the blah, 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 blah. now we're in the northwestern Russian forest, and it's going to be the same same deal as the last spot. So you're going to be looking on these walls for the sandstone deposits. You're not going to be looking on the tan parts slash the sand. So a really good thing to do in this biome, especially, is whenever you first get here, you're going to turn around because right back here you're just going to see this giant. It's a big old wall, and it goes from like all the way to the left side of the biome all the way to the right. I'm going to go along this wall to find my. All right, this one. Oh yeah, it's also right next to the kelp forest. You can also find sandstone in there, so that's also good. We're just gonna keep going along this giant wall. At the very start, at least. After after you search the whole wall, you can check the rest of the biome, but see All right, there we go. There we go. That's two, three, not four. Why is there a cave crawler down here? With I got one right here. You can especially want to check the check like all throughout the caves. All right, that's four. All throughout the caves. That's where a lot of these walls are going to be in this biome. Okay, got another one right here. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Thank you. Just like in the bulb zone, just going to be looking around on these walls for the sandstone. There's another one right there. Sandstone deposit. So with that, I said sandstone deposits. What is my obsession with deposit? Sandstone outcrops. Anyways, let's 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 go to the next spot. All right, to reach the next spot, we're going to start from the giant boats with the six up out of the water again. And from here, we are going to head about two, two and a half notches to the right of cell until we reach the kelp forest. By going here, you actually don't even need your sea moth. You can honestly bring your sea glide if you want, like just your sea glide to get over here. But if you want, you can bring your sea moth just, just in case. You know, there's one of the kelp forests right here, but we're not going to this one. So all you really need is your sea glide and maybe like a knife if you want. And the only thing that's, the only thing here that's hostile are stalkers. And they aren't really, they don't really do that much damage. And they don't also don't have that much health. And they're also really easy to get away from. So they're not really that big of a threat. It's a good beginner's biome to check for sandstone outcrops. 
But now that we are here, we can start looking around and you're gonna be looking on the walls. Now, the good thing about the Kelp Forest is the fact that there's multiple Kelp Forests. So if you check one specific one and you don't find all the lead or all the lead that you want, you can always check the other ones because there's there's basically a Kelp Forest surrounding the entire uh, Safe Shallows. Show me the goods, show me the goods. You're gonna be looking on the walls. You're also gonna be looking a little bit on the floor. Okay, there's another one right here. Lead, I think that's three. What do we have, three? Okay, we need one more. Oh my gosh, please, please game, please. Thank you, all right, freaking stalker. All right, let's go to the next spot, last spot, whatever. Same thing, same diff, whatever. All right, to reach our last spot, we're going to start from the giant crow to the six side of the water again. And from here, we are going to head southwest until we reach the grassy plateaus. And again, like the cow forest, there are multiple grassy plateaus. So that's a good thing for you because that gives you more area to search. So going here, you're going to bring your sea moth with, well, actually, you just going to want to bring your sea moth with nothing on it. That's going to bring your sea glide and a knife if you want to be extra safe. The only hostile creature mainly that you'll run into here are sand sharks, which are about the same as stalkers, really. They don't do that much damage and they don't have that much health, so they're really easy to attack. And you can also easily outrun them on your sea glide or sea moth. So there's that. They aren't that much of a threat, but we are now in the grassy plateaus. And once you are here, you're going to do the same thing as you've been doing for all these biomes. So you're going to be looking around on the walls. And mainly, you're going to be looking for the, like these little pillars here that are all throughout the biome. Because that's where most of the outcrops usually spawn. Okay, we got one. It's also another really good biome for beginners if you're looking for lead as a beginner. Because it's a relatively safe biome and it's also close to the safe shallows. So that's also a bonus. Thank you. All right, you got some lead. This is what we're looking for. Three. Do I smell a fourth? Four. Yes, sir. Then no, don't make it four. Thank you. Six. Anyways, that is all I had for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. I will see y'all in the next one. Give me an eighth. Okay. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.